Hi everyone, my name is Brett Ari Fisher, also known as the New York City Broker. Today I'm gonna to share some tips with you discussing what is a mortgage recording tax? And remember to contact me if you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in residential or commercial real estate in New York City. Mortgage recording tax, or MRT, is collected by New York City and New York State whenever a mortgage is taken out on a real property. For residential property buyers, real property includes condos and townhouses, but not co-ops because co-ops are classified as legal corporations and are not considered real property. The tax is paid by property buyers since they are responsible for the mortgage. You need to pay MRT if you are buying a condo or townhouse with a mortgage, if you are refinancing your mortgage, you don't need to pay MRT if you are buying a co-op apartment or buying a condo or townhouse with cash, meaning without taking on a mortgage. MRT is the main reason why buyers' closing costs for condos are much higher than co-ops. So how much is mortgage recording tax in New York City? The effective mortgage recording tax in New York City is 1.8% for mortgages less than 500,000 and 1.925% for mortgages of 500,000 or more. It's the effective tax rate that most buyers end up paying and it's made up of three different taxes. New York City tax, which is 1% or 1.125% based on the mortgage amount, basic tax, which is 0.5% and an additional tax of 0.3%. The actual mortgage recording tax also includes a 0.25%, which is a special additional tax paid by the mortgage lender. If we add that to the above numbers, the MRT rates become 2.05% and 2.175% respectively. Note that the above tax rates apply to one, two, and three family homes and individual condos only. Everything else has a different MRT rate. So how is mortgage recording tax calculated? It's important to note that MRT is calculated based on the mortgage you manage to secure and not the actual price of the property you're buying like most other taxes. So if you were buying a property that's 600,000 and you were only getting a mortgage for 70% of the price and are paying the rest yourself, you will only need to pay the recording tax on the 420,000 mortgage you are taking out. And since it's less than 500,000, you will get the lower tax rate, 1.8%, which will come to about 75.60, which is 1.26% of the property price, and would likely make up that amount of the overall closing costs. However, it's best to use the accuracy calculator provided by the New York City government. Reducing mortgage recording tax with SEMA. One way to reduce the mortgage recording tax you may need to pay is to work with your seller, if they have a lot of mortgage left on the property they're selling, to come up with a SEMA arrangement. In SEMA, or Consolidation Extension and Modification Agreement, the seller's lender will simply assign the remaining loan of the seller to you, the buyer, by coordinating with your mortgage lender. This way you only need to pay the mortgage recording tax on the difference. So the higher the mortgage loan that can be transferred to you, the smaller the new mortgage amount will be, and so will the MRT amount. Thanks so much for joining me in this discussion regarding what is a mortgage recording tax. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach me at brett at the New York City Broker.com. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you, your friends, and your family members can get all the best real estate content. I'm Brett Ari Fisher, the New York City Broker. Have a great day.